Good afternoon, everybody. So, the time is currently 2 o'clock p.m. on a Wednesday afternoon, and yes, I am just getting out of bed. Mostly because I was editing a video that, the last video that you guys saw, um, and I tried to stay in bed as late as possible because I'm going on night shift tonight. So if that's what you'll be seeing in today's video, me preparing for a night shift. Um, especially because David is coming home this evening. So even if I didn't want to cook and I could have just brought like instant noodles, like what's it called, Ichiban or whatever to school, I mean to school, wow, to work. I can't do that because David is coming home and I have to feed him. So I'm going to make some fried chicken, maybe even barbecue fried chicken, still thinking about it. Um, and uh, rice and peas. Um, but right now I'm going to get something to eat. And then um, hey guys, when I come back, so... I will show you guys. Here I'm showing you what I'm doing. I put some vegetable oil in a pan. I'm mixing flour and cornstarch, paprika, onion powder, and that's garlic plus there in that big bottle. I've actually been s marinating unintentionally some legs and thighs um, for a couple days just because I've been too lazy to cook. Um, yeah, so here I just flow, flow the chicken, put it in a pan, and the thighs I put skin, skin down first, just so, um, because that side has more meat, so I want to be sure that the meat gets cooked. Um, we don't want no raw chicken, so, yeah. I don't, I don't typically fry my chicken with egg or egg batter or a wet batter of any kind just because um, that's just how my mom always did it because she doesn't really like egg so she's only ever used flour so that's all I've ever known to use so that's all I do use. The only thing I've added was the cornstarch because it makes it a little crispier than just flour. So yeah, um, I kind of overcrowded the pan, but it's because I was rushing and I just wanted everything to get done. I know overcrowding the pan makes the temperature drop so everything goes a little slower, but that was okay for me. It was better than waiting to squeeze those two little legs in there, so I eventually do get them in there. Um, I typically fry them 10 to 15 minutes on each side, flipping twice. So I end up fr frying the chicken for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour. The last 15 minutes is kind of split between flipping like maybe 5 minutes on one side, a few minutes on the other just to make sure it's crispy and to double check. Yeah. So here now, I am washing about four cups of rice. I use jasmine rice. Um, just cause you like it, no other reason. Um, yeah, I'm preparing for rice and peas, as I said before. Um, I do sometimes um, pressure my peas, so I get like raw peas and cook it myself. And then, you know, store it in the freezer for whenever I'm, I do want to make rice and peas. Then I have it already cooked. Um, so I just do the whole bag and just um, portion it out and do it. But today, as you can see here, I'm doing some tin peas because I don't have any in the freezer. And I need to get this done now. So... 
I've added it to my rice cooker here and I am checking my chicken, adding coconut milk, um, some dried thyme leaves because the fresh, fresh thyme is hard to get and when you get it, it's moldy and of course some salt and you know you have to put your pimento seeds in there and get that real authentic flavor. The only thing I didn't have was I didn't have any garlic or scallion, so I didn't have any of those to put in there, but I definitely do do that. I also really love rice and peas with like a ginger flavor. That's really good. And I also don't have scotch bonnet pepper on hand. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm lacking there, but it still tastes really good. Um, you know, just have to flavor the pot. And go from there so my chicken was done so I'm just taking them out of the pan here taking the pan off the ooh golden brown yummy sorry guys I'm sniffling because all day at work today I was in the cold so if I sell another to stuffy that's why so I'm now adding my rice to the rice cooker and guys, I, I really, I'm not very good at cooking rice. I either put too much water or too little when I do it in the pot. Even when I use my little trick here, I'll show you in a little bit. Where I add the water and make sure the rice is level, stick my finger in. And once I get the water up to that first notch or first knuckle in my finger, then I know it's enough water, but even when I do it on the stove, it's either not enough or it's too much. I don't know, something happens. But yeah, anyways, here uh, you saw I added some butter to my rice. Um, well, it's margarine because it's, I can't believe it's not butter. And now I'm going to make some gravy. So, um... I know a lot of Canadians call what gravy, refer to gravy as this brown stuff, but this is really like, I guess, a sauce that I have with the chicken. So, as you see, I put a little bit of water, some ketchup. I'm sorry, this is a bad angle. Could have totally been closer, but I didn't want to move the camera again because I was rushing. So, again, I put water, ketchup, some spicy mustard, um, sugar. Um, and then I think after this I season it yeah so I add some more thyme leaves um, black pepper paprika cayenne um, some Maggi all-purpose and I kind of just mix it all together and taste it and usually once it's good from there I just let it simmer to get thick and that's it I probably also put onion powder in there because I didn't have time to like cut up onion and carrots and all of that and put it in there which would have made it better but I was rushing so I did what I could in the time that I had and it was bomb so you see me tasting it and I'm satisfied or not nope I added something else I can't tell what that is probably some more spice I can't quite remember but yeah just mix it up let it simmer till it thickens up and then we are good to go Just checking on my rice. Oh, look at that. Nice and shelly. Uh, a little wet, but you know, fluffy. Everything is cooked. This is my cheat, guys. I really am not the best at making rice. 
So I use my rice cooker. So after this, I basically just show you guys me sharing. So first I shared David's for the night and then I packed his lunch that he would take with him back to work. And then I packed my lunch and then I was basically out of there. So I think you've heard enough of my voice. <laughs> um, watch me share it. So here I'm again guys at work devouring this food. It was so good. Um, I didn't even wait till lunchtime because I was so hungry. Um, good thing I packed some good snacks so that at lunchtime I could have had, you know, a decent kind of food, not just some snacks. Um, but yeah, this was really good. Um, 
let me know how you fry your chicken or you know what kind of sauces you use or how you make your rice and peas maybe i can figure out how to make some proper rice and peas on the stove <laughs> okay guys